My name is Kim Alkali. Uh, I am a medical lab technologist, uh, but I've been in the lab profession for 23 years now. And I started out as a medical lab assistant technician. Uh, I did that for 10 years all across Canada, Ontario here, and uh, BC and Alberta. And then I went back and did my medical lab technologist diploma. I went into education seven years ago, and I've had the privilege of teaching at uh, BCIT, SAIT, working out with Anderson now, and at Nova Scotia Community College. And I also sit on the board for uh, CSMLS, which is our Canadian Society of Medical Laboratory Science. And I've had the privilege of also sitting on a board for the uh, College of, of MLT of Alberta. The Medical Lab Technology Program is about First of all, getting more lab professionals out into a field that is desperate for, for medical lab technologists, um, not just here in Ontario, but across Canada as well. Um, the program will train entry-level medical lab technologists uh, to work in multiple disciplines in a hospital, research labs, private labs, um, and they have the ability to analyze patient results and help with the patient diagnosis and treatment and be a part of that overall patient care. At Anderson for the MLT program, students will have the opportunity to learn the five main disciplines in the lab and that is um, microbiology, histology, chemistry, transfusion medicine, and hematology. So on top of learning those five disciplines um, that they can work in the clinical lab, they will also have the chance to learn specimen procurement, so that's blood collection, and how to get those samples ready for pre uh, prepped for testing and off to the bench. So they all get the full um, understanding, foundational knowledge of what happens in a medical lab in a, in a, in a large hospital center. The Anderson MLT program will also be teaching students uh, molecular techniques. And if anybody is familiar with COVID PCR or polymerase chain reaction, that is a molecular test. So students will understand the, they'll get to know the foundational knowledge of how PCR works. They will get to run their own samples here in our, in our labs here at Anderson. And then they'll have an opportunity if that's where they want to go upon graduation, then they can go work in molecular which is a new and up and coming field of, of, of medical lab technology. So students, when they come to Anderson MLT program, when they actually, um, they will learn the theory portion and then they're going to take that learning and they're going to do hands-on training in the labs here at, at, the, at the school. And those labs will be guided and supervised by experts in the field that have come, are subject matter experts. Um, they are going to be in labs with recent and well, current and relevant technology that they're going to see out in the clinical lab environment. So it's going to be a great transition stage from the, the labs here at Anderson and then when students get to go out into their practicum. The difference between a medical lab assistant slash technician and a medical lab technologist is quite large. Um, medical lab assistants or technicians as they're known here in Ontario are um, the public face of the lab. They are the individuals who are trained to go out, interact with the public members and go and procure or collect those blood samples. They then bring that back to the lab, they pre prepare them for testing and then they can walk it to the bench. A medical lab technologist will generally be that person sitting behind the bench who's going to be testing those samples. So even though medical lab technologists are still trained in specimen procurement and, and accessioning and specimen preparing, uh, their main role is, is understanding how to do all the testing and resulting to the physicians to help with that diagnosis and treatment. So for Anderson's MLT program, any prospective student does not need any previous experience, especially in a healthcare field. Um, that is something we're going to train to that will get you out into the clinical lab environment where you will have that experience. If you do have any previous laboratory experience, if you were previously an MLA slash T, um, then that, that just makes it more comfortable coming into this, into this di diploma program. And if you have any idea about what happens in the, in the hospital or clinical um, environment, that is also a benefit, but it's not necessary. I think the, peop the students who are, would be interested in this program would be students who are um, wanting to help others, uh, engaged in, in the science field, really love sciences, and 
Um, I think one more important thing is that you just, you, you pay attention to those small little details and you can multitask really well. So all, all medical lab technology students will take part in a clinical lab practicum. And that means they will leave class with us here, the, the lecture portion and the lab portion. And once they've got that great foundational knowledge, we're gonna send them out into the clinical world uh, with uh, into specific set lab that we have partnered with across Ontario and possibly even anywhere across Canada. Students will have about, I'm gonna say about 32 to 33 weeks. It depends on, it goes more by hours than weeks but that they will be out there and they get to experience the lab um, with real patients, with real technology, with lar the large analyzers, uh, under the supervision of assigned preceptors. And that's where they, the, year, the, the very long um, job interview is how we call it. So while students are at practicum, this is where they get to connect that, that knowledge that we've taught them. This is where they get to connect the different departments and how they work together um, simultaneously because all departments in the lab are really siloed separately because a patient will will get their sample collected and their sample could go to multiple departments. So really is connecting the dots of that information that they've learned here in Anderson in the, in the medical lab technology program. The CSMLS or the Canadian Society of Medical Lab Science is our national association and their role is um, they offer the, the MLT certification exam and students must pass this exam to be able to work as an MLT anywhere in Canada. So the CL CMLTO is different. That's the College of Medical Laboratory Technologists of Ontario. And that is a regulatory body. So a college is a self-governing um, self regulatory uh, system that really is not there to advocate for MLTs, but to protect the public and ensure that the public has great access to very effective healthcare. So you do need to be a member uh, to the CMLTO as well. And every province has, almost every province has their own regulatory college that you will have to be a member of if you would like to work in that province. So that is an annual membership as well. So there is a provincial association here in Ontario that medical lab technologists can absolutely join and that is the MLPAO or the Medical Laboratory Professionals Association of Ontario. And again, that is an advocacy uh, education body that is really there just to promote the, the profession of medical lab professionals. So that is actually includes medical lab technologists and medical lab assistants. So upon completion of your practicum, all students need to write the CSMLS certification exam. And upon completion of that, a successful passing of that, they will be offered a role within, typically within the lab that they, they did their practicum in. Um, right now, the outcome for employment is extremely good for medical lab technologists and, and when, upon finishing this program at Anderson. Due to the shortage of, in Ontario, of medical lab professions and across Canada. I think my word of advice for any prospective student to the Anderson MLT program is to, to do your research on what a medical lab technologist does. Really know if this is your passion, because I think having a passion for healthcare and having a passion for helping others and the science behind the lab technology portion is intrinsic to just loving the program. It is a fast paced, intense program. Um, and it, it can be a little trying at some times, but it is very rewarding when you come out and you get your very first job and you're there helping patients. So it's, it's uh, know what you're getting into, but it's, it's a very rewarding career.